Now some people would like you to believe that Darnell Dawkins died at Woodstock, immediately after Woodstock in some kind of helicopter crash. Fine. Some people would like you to believe that Elvis is dead. And some people would like you to believe that Jim Morrison is dead. Well, as Meatloaf once said, two out of three ain't bad. The fact remains, Darnell Do the, the body was never recovered. There was just this mangled wreckage and some of us are just not so sure. Some of us are just not so sure. And I'll tell you, I can just share my experience with you. I was at a Sex Pistols show in London and the year was 1977. Um, Sid Vicious passed out in a pool of his own vomit. Johnny Rotten running around going, Call blimey governor, the show must go on, the show must go on. Any old iron, any old iron. Because he was, I don't know if you know this, Johnny Rotten was in fact a cockney chimney sweep. But that's beside the point. The point is that this bedraggled hippie at the back of the crowd, you know, so there was a moment where it was kind of like, you know, is there a doctor in the house? Or in this case, is there a punk rock bass player in the house? And this bedraggled hippie kind of staggered to the front of the stage and he had hair and a beard and you could tell the Sex Pistols were like weary, but it, what were they going to do? Sid Vicious was passed out in a pool of his own vomit. So what happened was they let him on stage and it was incredible. It was incredible. He didn't even pick up the bass guitar. He just, he, he made punk rock noises with his mouth. Darnell Dawkins, perhaps, he was, he was somehow capable of doing God Save the Queen and Pretty Vacant and Anarchy in the UK while spitting and still the, the noises coming out of his mouth were just incredible. Too incredible, I think. I think the problem was the sounds that he could make were just, there was too much technical finesse there. It was a bit too much like, you know, the bass player from Rush on stage with the Sex Pistols and they were all like, nah, 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 and he's like, you know, playing these fancy bass runs with his mouth. It didn't last. Steve Jones, the guitarist from the Sex Pistols, was just like, oi, get this wanker off my stage. And I think, I think that was what ended Darnell's big comeback. I think he was just crushed by the, 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 re the rejection that he felt on stage that night from the Sex Pistols, and I don't know, I, I, I'm convinced, you know, maybe you saw a boy band concert at one point, maybe you saw NSYNC and there was a guy in the back, in the backing band, playing the guitar, except he didn't have a guitar, he just was doing these incredible guitar noises with it, who knows, all I can say is, Darnell's not dead, he's not dead, you know, take it from me, um, I'm convinced of this. Don't, don't let these YouTube videos persuade you otherwise. Darnell Dawkins is still with us, man.